Isabella, when you first started at Baiju's Future School, were you only learning coding or what, you know, why did you seek out? Me and my mom saw this program and we thought it was a really good idea. And when I started it, I really liked Rovina and the way she taught me. I continued on doing Baiju's Future School. I know that your app was part of the Silicon Valley Challenge. Can you tell us a little bit about what that was like? But it was a very fun experience. The name of my app is Eat Safe. I have allergies. I wanted to help people who also have allergies and give them ideas about what foods they can eat. How does it make you feel when you see the app on like the Google the Google store to be downloaded? Seeing the app on the Google store was very exciting. Mr. Ovina, tell me what it's like working with a child like Isabella. First of all, I would like to tell Isabella has learned and developed on her interest. <laughs> I'm really proud of Isabella. Nothing more makes me proud as a teacher. Tell us some things about Ms. Rovina and what she means to you. Ms. Rovina really helped me to understand the codes better and not just know how um, to like code the app, to understand what the codes do and what they mean. Ms. Rovina is a very kind and patient teacher. I really like how she takes time out of the lesson to explain things to me and to make sure I know everything I need to. Um, it's really nice. Ms. Rovina, can you tell us the name of the classes that Isabella is taking? The first thing was uh, Sprite Lab where uh, we could uh, uh, create a game. She enjoys uh, uh, Thunkable. Uh, she has one tab where she gets the coding correct and I can feel the joy when it works. I'll be eagerly waiting for Isabella's class. Her smile makes my day, I can tell you. What do you want to be when you grow up? When I grow up, I want to be some sort of doctor and I thought it would be a good idea to already know how to use uh, technology and how to to do stuff like this. What has been the growth with Isabella since she started with Miss Rovina until now? Look, I come from a teaching background as well, so I think having the opportunity to um, for her to do something outside of school in this sort of environment was really, really important to me as well. Um, I think one of the biggest things is that coding is so cross curricular. It's not just you know, playing games on the computer. It's not just, you know, coding a couple of apps. It's, there's maths, there's English, um, you know, there's so much involved in it that I've seen her skills develop um, across all of those subject areas. You know, her maths has improved because of the coding work. Um, her comprehension and her vocab has improved because of the coding, because she's being introduced to so much more that she wouldn't have been otherwise. Um, so, you know, the, the confidence as well, you know, especially during lockdown, um, we were in lockdown for close to two years, um, it gave her something else to focus on. So it was really good for her mental health as well, um, you know, having that to look forward to, um, having that interaction, you know, because everything was sort of so different during that time. So there's so many benefits to it, really so many. <laughs> And Isabella, best of luck in everything that you do. I know you're going to be so successful. I can't wait to just watch what happens.